Hiya! In this video we're making a really simple wrap with twine on a heart shaped crystal. This design is the same on both sides of the wrap. It has a knot in the centre and then three points of twine coming out to hold that crystal secure. You can do the same wrap design on different size hearts. This one here is a four centimetre heart. You can either make these just into a simple hanger with a short length of twine and a knot there, or you can make them into a necklace with some adjustable sliding knots. This is the one we're going to make today. This is a 2.5 centimetre crystal heart, and I will show you how to do the sliding knots for the necklace as well. So it's a super simple design from this bigger four centimetre heart right down to the smaller two centimetre hearts as well. So we've got our beautiful rose quartz crystal heart, which is 2.5 centimetres wide. Now we're using 0.8 millimetre polyester cotton thread. And for our necklace today, we need one length of 20 inches and one length of 45 inches. If I'm making a hanger, I don't need that extra length, so I just use two 20 inch lengths. But whether you're making a hanger or a necklace, just measure out your lengths and cut them and then I like to singe the ends as well so they don't fray. Now first up we want to try and find the middle of both cords. So starting with this smaller one, just placing the ends together, following it back down to the other end. And then the same with the longer cord as well, placing the ends together, following it back down to the other end. Then we can place the two middles together and tie a little overhand knot. So just around our finger and then pulling the tails through the loop. Pulling it nice and tight. Now you want to find your measurement for how far your knots are going to be apart. My crystal heart here is a 2.5 centimetre wide heart. And however wide your crystal heart is, we just want to add half a centimetre or five millimetres onto that measurement. And that's how far apart we want our knots to be. So mine is a 2.5 centimetre heart. So I want my knots to be three centimetres apart. And I'm just going to hold it onto the ruler there and gently pull my knot down nice and slowly so that I can work it right onto that three centimetre mark. Pulling your knots nice and tight and you should have two knots spaced out a little bit in this little gap in between. This is where you're going to pop the bottom of your crystal. So you can try it out for size, place the bottom point of your heart in there. And you should have one knot sitting on the front and one on the back of your crystal heart. It does need to be quite well sized, this wrap. You don't want it too big that your crystal heart can slip out the bottom. You want the knot sitting about the center on each side and then these twine loops around the bottom part to hold that heart secure. Crystal hearts can be quite tricky to wrap because they're smooth on all edges. So you need to make sure your knots are super tight and there's nowhere your crystal can escape. If you need to readjust your knots, there's no worries with undoing them and tying them up again so that they're in a better position. But if you're happy with them, then we can go ahead and cut those shorter lengths off on the outside of the knot. Then I like to singe each little end in and tap it with my lighter so that it fuses onto the knot. Then you should have a length with one thread coming off each side of the knot and in the centre between the knots you've got two sides of the thread. And that's going to sit over the bottom of your crystal heart to hold it all secure in place. Now you want to make sure that those knots are sitting evenly on the front and the back so when you turn it on its side they're in the same position. Now holding the wrap onto the crystal really securely with my left hand I'm going to bring these threads around in my right hand just to tie a little knot there that's going to sit in the top center of our heart. So I've just done a really simple knot which is just the left over the right and around, pulling that really nice and tight and holding it. 
and then the other half of the knot which is just the right over the left and around making sure that first layer is pulled down really nice and tight first and then we can pull this knot down really tight as well now you need to make really sure all your knots are tight enough and all your loops are sitting in the right position so they're going to hold your crystal secure you don't want much movement in your wrap on the sides here or any holes big enough that your crystal could fall out and that knot at the top needs to be really nice and tight. Now if you're making your crystal heart into a little hanger you can just tie a knot at the end of your threads or if you're making a necklace with nice longer threads here then we just lay it down on the table and I overlap the threads on the top here with this left hand side coming on the top. Now picking it up in my left hand with this left side cord at the back. Then I bring it over the front, down and out the back to create one full loop there. Then again bringing it over the front, down and out the back to create a second loop. Then with this tail end we can just bring that around and poke it down both of our loops. Pulling it out the right hand side and then pulling that sliding knot down nice and tight. Now swapping our necklace onto the opposite side, again holding it with our left cord at the back. Then we can bring that over the front, down and out the back to create our first loop. And then again for our second loop, over the front, down and out the back. Then with our little tail end here we can bring that around and poke it down both of our loops. Pulling it out the right hand side and bringing that sliding knot down nice and tight. Now you can check your sliding knots, make sure they're sliding okay. If you're happy with them, then you can cut your ends off and singe them with a lighter. So there's your simple heart-shaped crystal wrap with twine.